carried in. Good, good. Have you been waiting here long for me? No? Okay. Good, perfect. Just give me a moment to get my things. Alrighty. Yes, so you are here for a physiotherapy sort of gym personal training exercise. Yeah, so I'm a physiotherapist and the idea is we run these sessions if you've got any sort of injury um, we try and give you different exercises to do and we kind of look at your injury and what we can do with that and yeah, help you work out. Does that sound okay? Good. So, why don't you just tell me a little bit about yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got that much. Okay. Yeah, do you just want to give me your address? Mm -hmm. Do you have a neck stock? Not that anything's going to happen to you in this session, just as a... Cool. And do you have a contact number for them? Fabulous. Okay, so before we get started with different exercises, just give me a little bit of an indication on what exactly you're having issues with. Okay. We're so... Okay. Mm. And when did that start? Okay. No, it's fine. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not just the shoulder. All right, okay. What one? The left leg? Left knee. Mm -hmm. And how long have you had that injury for? Okay. Okay, and have you ever been to see a physio about it before? The knee? Mm -hmm. But not the shoulder. Okay. Well, what we'll do then is we'll just have a look. Um, I'll need to probably massage the area and just really feel exactly um, where there's a tear, where you feel that you can feel a tear. Mm. Um, and as well, look at your knee. But again, minimal um, invasion there. We just want to have a quick look and make sure that we get the right exercises for you. So, if you don't mind, I'm just going to start. So we have your right shoulder and your left knee. Okay, so I've got some deep heat. Yeah, it's massage oil that contains a little bit of deep heat. And you can smell. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to, yeah, you just let me lift that up slightly. Yeah, I'm just going to gently massage that area. See where we can feel the strain and we'll do some exercises with that arm as well to determine where the pain is and how we can fix it or try our best to work around it, okay? So what are you looking to do in general with your exercise? You're looking to sort of gain tone, tone again, cool. Do you do a lot of cardio? Okay, what we'll do is maybe a little bit of yoga as well. Okay, just let me know if I'm being rough at all. Trying to be as gentle as possible. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Okay. So it really feels that your anterior deltoid feels pretty small tears. It is difficult to feel. We can 
you usually just assess by how well you're able to move in certain motions um, in certain exercises I just want to so when, how did you do this? so you were just casually playing badminton, okay you just reached too high okay that's fine, just have a quick look down here have you ever found that your acromial clavicular ligament has been sore, just runs right across Mm. And do you have hypermobility? So hypermobility is where certain joints you're able to move it a bit further than normal. So for example, instead of going here, you can go like this. You see, so it's kind of going past. Naturally, your arm should sit like this, but instead it's dropping. I just want you to slowly just raise your arms like so and down I'm just going to touch on there that's it, so just raise them and drop them and raise again and lower it down okay, I'm just going to compare it and just raise your arms Now, do you feel any pain at all when you're lifting your arms? A slight niggle. Okay. Again, in this bit. Okay. I actually want to have a quick look at your scapula. Yeah, I just want to see that it is moving um, the same as the other one, so it's moving in sync. Yeah, so what I need you to do is I just need you to pop your hands out. Right here. Okay, can you just push slightly? Thank you. And drop your shoulders. Okay, and now can you raise your arms again for me, please? That's it, raise your arms. And drop. And raise your arms. And drop. Mm, okay. Do you do any sort of physical exercise or physical tasks where you are pushing quite regularly or lifting above your head? Okay. Do you find that your shoulder gets sore then? Okay. Yeah, and what I'm seeing is your scapula is a tad out of sync. So when that happens, it puts strain on other muscles that are on or normally only accessory muscles to that movement and they're not designed to be able to be the main muscle as part of that movement so for example your interior deltoid is being dragged into a movement that it shouldn't actually be participating too much in because your scapula is out of sync so it's putting strain on that whole joint your yes your shoulder so, okay, so I think that's our problem, but it is fixable and we need to be careful because this could obviously easily happen to your other shoulder. So we need to be careful and what we need to do is give you a series of exercises that you can do, not physical exercises to get fit, but to train your skeleton. Yeah. Okay, so do you have resistant bands at home? Mm-hmm. Good. So what I want you to do is I want you to start training by putting resistant bands around. And I want you to pull out and then let it come back in. And then pull out 
and let it come back in. And then I want you to stretch them up this way, back together, up this way, back together with the resistant bands, okay? And then what I want you to do is I want you to find a wall and you're going to hold yourself against the wall and you're going to push in and then push out and you can do with one arm in, out, in, out but you're really going to focus on supporting your weight against that wall Yeah, so we're actually going to give you press ups now we'll probably give you easier press ups to begin with because they can be part of your physical exercise but we do not want to put the strain across your shoulders, okay? Yeah, so I will put them as part of your circuit when I build your routine in a moment. And, oh uh, yeah, of course. And what I'll do is I'll give you a wee. These are instant ice packs. These are really good because you instantly squeeze. And if you're feeling a little, pre- little bit of pressure after um, any physical you're feeling it's quite sore or inflamed, we really want to use the ice method. So, yeah, right. So you raise ice. Yeah, and elevate as well. So yeah, these are really good to put cold compress on. You should always ice. Well, sometimes they suggest heat as well. You can do either one. So, I've got quite a lot of these I can give away. They're quite inexpensive and I can show you where to get them. Just as an option, some people just use frozen peas and they absolutely work as well. So, yeah. I'm just going to do a quick check now. I just want to quickly measure um, the bicep on each arm. I want to see if you've got any imbalances as well that could be causing issues up this way. Okay. And this arm. Okay. Cool. Very slight. Are you with your bicep curls? Yeah, I would suggest using perhaps a weight like this for your bicep curls. Okay, yep, so I would maybe start with 10 kilograms. <laughs> um, if you can do the biceps, just start. We're going to do higher reps before we move on to um, higher weights. And then we'll decrease the reps. So you're basically, you can do them seated as well, so you can do them standing, where you release and raise, or you can sit, place your elbow on your knee, and you can release and then raise. Okay. Yes, the weight is going to be your friend. So I'm going to add this in by some girls, and I already said as well that I would do press-ups, but we're going to do half press-ups. I don't want to say female press-ups, but you know what I mean. Okay. My hands are all mucky from that weight. <laughs> I'll to get new equipment in this gym. Now, another exercise I would like you to do, again, is all about training that shoulder strengthening it up. So what you do is you can take a weight plate chain of this size and um, 1.25 kilograms or you can go for 2.5. I would actually start with the lower 1.25 because we're not looking at this as a weight exercise. We're looking to just gradually strengthen your shoulder. So what you would do is you come out here, you would hold, keep your 
elbow tight against your chest. Okay, and then you would slowly bring out and back. Out and back. Out and back. And then you would repeat on the other side, so out and back. Out and back. And you'll feel it tighten. Do you want to try? Okay, so just keep that a little bit closer to you, that's it. And out. You feel it, feel the strength, yeah. Feel it tighten. You can also do this on cables as well. So if you're in the gym using the cable machine, you would just bring the cable section down to probably just below eye level. And then you can stand with the cables and you can pull out and do it this way, that way, however you fancy. But that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do the curls. Now, I also want to add to your circuit um, lateral raises. So you can take either start with a plate or you can take um, a dumbbell. And you're just going to raise and down. It's not straight up and down. Slightly forward out to the front and down. Up and down. And this would be a good idea to superset with seated shoulder press. So when you be seated, raise your dumbbells and your plates to here. We're just going to push up and down. So the plates with the dumbbells is different, be side on, up together, and down, up, and down, okay? Yep, so that would be a superset with side lateral raises and shoulder press as an option. Okay, and how good are your chin-ups or pull-ups, depending on what's best for you? Very good. Okay. If you've not done them in a while. Okay, so you might find that you're able to just retain that. If not, I would use one of the resistance bands, and I would just bring it down and put it underneath your knee. Of course, you want to use your knee that's not the sore. I think that's quite a few good exercises for now for your upper body. Of course, you can do your own thing with regards to chest. Um, it shouldn't really engage your interior deltoid too much. Again, you may find a little bit of a pinch when you're doing higher weights or higher reps. But again, you think you should just take that as how it comes. You'll be able to assess yourself whether you need to slow down or do something else. Now, let's have a look at that knee. You want to raise it up here? Thank you. Okay. Again, I'm just going to use this liquid. Like so. You smell that deep remember what exactly is in it, but I always like the smell of it. Okay, I'm going to be really gentle. So how did you get this injury? Okay, so you're running down the stairs and you and fell, so it wasn't a sports injury. Okay, right. Let's go. Look. Okay. It does feel tight. I'm just feeling down. Yeah. In your quads. Yeah, they feel really, really tight. So do your hamstrings. That whole section is particularly tight. Did they give you a diagnosis at the time you injured your knee? Okay, so... 
Oh, that's nasty. Your interior tree shaped like a vent. That is not the one you want to tear. Was that fill tear? Partial tear? Partial tear. Okay. I imagine a lot of rest. Okay. So potentially the meniscus is damaged as well. Not great. It's usually a sports injury, actually. Okay. So. Yeah. It's a little bit of a problem because I think the cue angle um, at your knee is slightly off. Um, yeah, it's probably more in line. I just think any sort of jumping exercise is going to cause you a little bit of a problem. Especially, I think, the way that your knee is aligned, it will cause undue stress and may cause further injury. So we need to be really, really careful here. So let's just see. Yep, can you just bend your knee for me? That's it. And raise back up. Okay. And bend. I can, I can hear the clicks. Okay. And raise back up. Perfect. And bend. And raise. Good job. Yeah. Okay, can you just... I'm going to hold your leg here. I'm going to support you. Can you just twist your ankle for me? Mm -hmm. And rotate it the other way. I really feel that movement. I just don't really want you to put too much pressure. It just means that I think we're going to have to avoid likes of split exercises. Because this is quite a bad Actually, actually, we really don't want to risk any further damage to your interior cruciate ligament because that could really cause issues for the quality of your life. So I think we're going to have to try and stay away. So, for example, squatting is okay, but you need to bear in mind weight and load. I was going to suggest split squats originally um, because you can do them, get more of a, a feel for them without having too high weights, but I would be concerned that you could cause further damage by having the solo stress on one knee. So I think we'll need to avoid the split squats. I would actually try and do um, your squats with the dumbbells as opposed to a bar, but that, again, that's completely up to you. We really need to look here at your what we'll add in here is I really want you to start stretching but I'll come to that in a minute um, hamstring exercises so let's do some leg curls and raises as well yeah so we're just using the machines in the gym you don't need anything else yes so if you use the leg curl machine like a race machine. There's also the one where you sit and you do abduction and adduction. It's really good as well for those inner muscles within yeah, your upper thigh. So I would suggest doing a lot of machine work for your legs. I think that would be better. You can of course still do the legs of deadlift as that's mainly on your lower back. Uh, engages your legs a little bit but not too much so that might be a good idea as well you just need to be really really careful with position can you show me your position say for example you were going to clean with the bar can you please show me your your squatting position how would you normally do this okay hmm okay I see yeah um, I would move your legs out very slightly. They were slightly too narrow and be conscious of your knees falling in. You want to, yeah, sometimes it's easier if you want to rotate your feet outwards very slightly to avoid the knees collapsing because you'll cause, again, undue pressure and strain on your knees. 
So I would, yes, rotate. Okay, like so. Try that again. Try and keep your back straighter. Um, and see if you can get lower. Okay. That was much better that time. Absolutely. So, if we add in deadlifts as well. So deadlifts, cleans, how are your cleans, your snatch and cleans? So remember, keep close. It's the same sort of idea when you're down with your deadlifts. Um, and you want to keep close to the bar. And then you just lift, lift, lift your elbows. And snatch them. Yeah, then you can like snatch or clean and press. <laughs> yeah. So that obviously engages your full body. Just be mindful and of your shoulder. Um, I would maybe avoid the press, but I think the clean should be okay with your shoulder. Yeah, sometimes people find difficulty if they've got shoulder injuries at the press, but you can obviously work on that if you want to. Using a press machine, I wouldn't do it as part of your clean for now, until we can make your shoulder a little bit better. So, as we said, we do like a raises, abduction, and abduction. Yeah, by all means, do as we said, squats, leg press. It's fine to do as well. I would avoid the hack squat if possible um, because just the way that the weights are here and how you're slanted on that piece of equipment again can cause you a bit of issues when you get down to push back up with your knee so I would avoid that. But squats are fine um, and leg press is fine. Either way you can do seated where you push the machine away or you can do the manual one where you're tilted with your bum down, legs up and the weights are here. That's fine to do. No problem at all. Okay, but I would avoid like anything like split squats, split squats, lunges, weighted lunges, anything like that. I would avoid putting sole pressure on your knee. So that leads us to stretching and yoga. Now, a lot of people avoid stretching. It's so important. I actually stretch before and after, as well as doing yoga regularly. So to warm your muscles up, a good yoga move without having to do a full yoga session is reaching up to the top and then forward fold. So you reach up and drop all the way down. Yes. So that's it. So drop all the way down to your feet. Okay, let them just stay there. Lift halfway left. Just slightly up. That's it. And forward fold all the way down. So we're not looking to touch your toes as such. You can bend your legs slightly, but you're folding your whole body down and letting the blood rush. And then after a little time in forward fold, you would then raise, rise back up to mountain. Very slowly, one. Yeah, that's it. And you feel the rush of blood as you're standing in mountain. Good. So then I would, that's just to kind of wake your body up. Now, you really need to stretch those hamstrings. Again, touching your toes might help. But they're very tight. I think if they were more loose, um, better stretched, I think you would find less issues with the cute ankle in your knee. And that in turn will cause you less pain in your knee with different exercises. So, of course, so if you kneel down, you stretch out, stretch one leg, bend over, touch your toes. Um, you can almost do the lunge, lean forward, really feel that with Really feel that um, stretch as such. You'll feel your hamstrings start to shout at you. And with your shoulders, I would do like your simple stretch over here. And then stretch over here. You can go up and over. And over the other side. 
Stretch that way. There's lots you can do in your whole circle of your shoulder. Lots of exercises to do, but again, stretch. The most important one, as I said before, was to use this. Now, I was going to suggest a weight belt, but I don't actually think you'll need this. Yeah, I was going to suggest the use of this when you're doing squats and deadlifts. But I think your lower back is actually okay. I think we'll deal with that today. But yes, do you have any further questions about what I've shown you today? No. Okay, are you feeling happy? Do you feel that these are achievable exercises? Remember, this is not just physical exercise for fitness, but it's also exercises, as I showed you earlier, for your shoulder and the stretching for your leg. Yeah, okay. Good. Well, I'll meet you in a week for your next session. And we will, of course, mix up and try different exercises. But for now, I'll give you this sheet away. And you can go away and work on the different exercises. Alright. Okay. Perfect. Well, I will see.